Here is why love and light really doesn't work that well. I'm actually in the minority in the spiritual community when it comes to this. I know a lot of people saying, oh, to win this spiritual warfare, we need to be the love and light. We need to show everybody love. But you do understand that love is acceptance, right? Love is unconditionally accepting. So if you are truly operating in the energy of love and light, you accept those that are evil. And clearly, none of you accept evil. See, the thing is, these fallen angelics, these elite that are in control, it's not like they don't have light. They do. Everything has light. Everything is consciousness. Consciousness is light. They have a spark of light just as much as you do. But the difference is they choose to not access it. It's a choice. It's always there. It's like your hand, right? Your left hand. It's always there with you. But that doesn't mean you always have to choose your left hand. You can choose to use your right hand. It's the same thing with light. These fallen angelic races are choosing not to work with love because if they loved, they would accept, they wouldn't be control freaks. Now it makes you hypocrites as well because you're always like, oh, love and light. We can show them the way with love. Love is acceptance. If you accept something for what it is, you don't need to show it away. You would just be like, oh, that's how the divine created you. You know what? Do you. I just have to learn how to protect myself. If you're constantly trying to change and control somebody, that's not love and light. And if you think you can change an energy vampire by showing them love and light, you have another thing coming for you. How many people have dealt with narcissists or sociopaths? It's like pouring into a black hole. No matter how much love you give them, they will never reciprocate it. They will never understand it. A lot of them choose to not understand it. A lot of them have something wrong with their brain in which they cannot accept or comprehend love. So when you're opening yourself up to these energy vampires and saying, oh, love and light, I can cure you, I can change you, I can show you the way. You're allowing access into your own energy in which you keep giving and they keep depleting. You are setting yourself up for failure if you keep giving when there is no reciprocation. To love is to let go of control. What you're expecting them to do is to give you the love back or to change for you. That's not going to happen. And a lot of spiritual people are saying, oh, but I have infinite amount of energy. No, you don't. Not in this human form, you don't. We literally need to eat food to live. Doesn't matter if you're vegan or you eat meat, you need to consume energy to produce energy. If you constantly give love and light, love and light to these energy vampires, they're constantly going to deplete you. You cannot replenish yourself without something else replenishing you. And I find it so frustrating when people say, oh, you're just fear mongering. Unfortunately, we live in the matrix. Although fear is a state of mind, it actually helps you. You can choose to not fear a snake, but that doesn't mean the snake's not gonna bite you and you die of its venom. So if you wanna put yourself in danger, go right ahead.